everyone, in this video I'm wanting to show you how amazing it is to use a 105mm macro lens with the Canon 550D, especially when you use it in the movie crop mode, where it uses the central 640 and 480 pixels to just get the center part of the sensor, and when you're using that with a macro. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the effect of what it's like when we're using it with a candle like this. So if I just light this candle just now, okay, as you can see we've got a, just a normal candle there. If I change the aperture down there, you can see it nice and easy. Um, but what we're going to do is go to get a macro lens, this one here, the Nikon 105 f2.8. Let's look at this. Want a little bit more info, I'm going to have it mounted on my tripod which is kind of stuck onto my table and I've got the kind of side bit so it's coming out the side so it means I should get nice and close to it. Okay so this is me shooting at 100 ISO at a 30th of a second and we're at f2.8 obviously not focus so let's bring the lens into focus okay let's see if we can get it so it's the burning point there that looks kind of interesting there now. Whenever you get this close to the focus point or to the to the uh, to the flame, uh, you're not actually at f two point eight anymore. There's a slight change in the actual physical aperture that you're getting here. But as you can see, that's looking pretty good. Let's just stop it down just a touch, and I'm going to now put it into seven twenty p so we can have some more slow motion footage, especially whenever it's flickering like that. That would look quite cool. Okay, so this is it now shooting at 50 frames a second, at a 60th of a second, ISO 100, and still at f2.8. If I give it a blow... Oh, no. That's out. That's it back on. And, uh, and that was it in slow motion as well. Now, let's see if we can get... I think we can get even closer. Yeah, we can definitely get a lot closer to this. So let's give that a try. Okay, and that is how close we're getting. We're actually seeing the strands of the actual string that, it, or the wick. Let's give it a blow. So yeah, that is how close we're getting. Let's see if we can change the focus in and out there. Let's see if we can get it right on the edge of the red bit here. So that is the very, very edge. Whoa, right. Very difficult to focus whenever the flame is in the way. Let's just angle him a little bit better. Ooh. Let's maybe bring the f-stop down a touch. So there, look at that, we can actually see the bits of, oh look at that, if I, if I flap my hand in front of the candle, does that help? If you ask me, that is pretty cool. I'll bring it back a little bit. Here's another example, here is a little sponge. Let's bring this into focus. Ooh, let's put it onto the green side. Ugh. Yeah. Makes me kind of think I really don't want to wash my dishes with a sponge that looks like that. Oh, quite disgusting. But yeah, so I'll just leave you with this image, and that is the very edge of, well, I'll just try and touch it, ow, 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 that is the very edge of the end of the wick of the candle. Pretty cool if you can get that close, I think. Cool. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Bye-bye.